was a massacre over at Longshore Stacks. Residents okay. murdered by one Leon Rinder, a long-serving ex-Bargas ghoul. Okay. Naturally, the victim's families want him found and appropriately dealt with. Head down there and find Brianna Dolson, the Stacks' unofficial representative. She'll fill you in. Happy hunting. Hanson's rabid brutes are at it again. Remember 75? Wasn't as bad as this, but they killed two kids then. No apology, no compensation, nothing. Sorry for interrupting. Name's V. Han sent me. Brianna, I take it? That's right. Martha, this woman here, she'll help us. We'll give you some space, okay? Yes. Go. More Sorry, emotions are running high right now. Before we start, need to understand who you are, where from. Life in Dogtown? Know it well? Grew up on the road, sleeping neath the stars, sharing campfires with dozens of folks I called family. Can't imagine it's any different here. Worse off you are, or you gotta stick together. Well then, nice to meet you. That's you introduced. I'm Brianna. Six years back, the Tigers came after me, so I ran. Landed here. Okay. For most of us, our past doesn't amount to more than that. Running, surviving, which is why... I want to make sure that for once, the eddies we scraped together will buy us justice. Real justice. How about a street justice? How'd you put together the scratch for this? All of us here, we pitched in. We've suffered enough. Define justice. justice means what to you, exactly? Definitions vary. Want to hear your take? Leon Rinder doesn't deserve to live. He was a triggerman for Hansen. A murderer. All too familiar with that brand of justice. Good for you. Doesn't change Rinder killing Martha's son, Jason, along with his friends and four other residents. Jason, Caleb, Deontay, Omar, Pharrell, Matthias, Elisa, and Tamika. Rinder's not a Bargas soldier anymore. Why? No clue. All I know is he's brutal, cold-blooded, a beast. What's his connection to Hansen? He joined when Hansen set up shop in Dogtown. Carried out orders no one else dared take, according to rumor. Why would Rinder be meeting with Jason? Any idea? All I know is that Jason was supposed to put Rinder in touch with the Scavs. Uh. Scavengers. Jason happened to be involved in some unsavory biz. He was a young man trying to get by in Dogtown. Wasn't no angel, but his heart was in the right place. Martha made sure of that. Why kill all these people? Any reason? Evil is evil. It doesn't need a reason. Martha's boy, Jason, he wanted to become a fixer. He set up some deal, brought Rinder to the stacks. But there was a dispute. Rinder opened fire and, well... We're still scrubbing the blood off the walls. Identified the bodies by their implants. I see. Found this in Jason's body. It's encrypted, but I'm sure you can manage. Feel free to look around. Investigate. There's still plenty of... Uh, traces. Rinder will get what's coming to him. I'll make sure of it. I can tell that to Jason's mother. Good. I will. Now you know what we've been through, V. Don't let us down. Can count on me. Rinder's dog tag. Bring it to me. It'll serve as a reminder to this pack of thugs that we're capable of fighting back. Hmm. I'll do my best. Jack the shard. What's on the shard? And where's the shards? No. 2.0, they changed the system, so... Where are 
to charge. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, it's, it's here. Just a foreign, got a client for you. I want to sell combat implants. Me the third gen, good. Send him to us in Pacifica, Los, old Los Osos motel. Where he get them. Better of telling me how what you are willing to play. Only it's quality chrome. It is then a lot. Then so tough. Fuck me. And my god. Don't try to be funny. You already get a flat fee. You want more? Then ask your supplier. Hey, it's always the same you with you a holes. See these combat souls? <laughs> Must have run up, boosted onto the roof of this shack, bashed his leg against the railing. That's a 10 foot jump for a man who's got to weigh at least 360 pounds, leaving dino prints like these. So either we're witnessing the fattest fuck who ever jumped, or Rinder's got augmented hamstrings on top of being crumbed up like a goddamn tank. Is a riddle, all right. Someone's been collecting different kinds of lead here. But why? When I was little, after shootouts, we'd race to collect any casings we could find. I'll Traded them between ourselves. Father. Must be some kid's stash. Doesn't tell me anything about Rinder, but... Can't complain about knowing a little piece of Johnny Silverhand's childhood. There's a big gun. And marks like these... I'm thinking... 50 cal rounds, Mark 31 HMG. Heavier than a motherfucker lead spitter that did this. Hauling it with a Gannick arm? Not a chance. Classic go-to for Militech Marines. Ex-soldiers like Rinder. Scan did pick up traces of other rounds, which would make him the lone shooter. Or take it out on the ground or something? Not his fist. See the blood? Indentation? Took some poor fucker's head and bashed it. Repeatedly. It's like he went berserk. I guess he went psycho. Looking for a bored out killing machine that's lost all self control. Yeah, psycho. Sounds about right. And now, I move to reminisce. I received three orders during our attack on the city. The first, take the peninsula south of the Storm Channel. We did. The second, set up bases. Hold. We held. The third, withdraw. Fuck your positions. Well, that was the final order. You know why? Look at that Storm Channel. I see you sipping beer there by day, collecting cargo by night. Shit's down like you cock. These days you can... I'm paying for protection. So t he paid them for protection and then they took his chrome. Yeah. Hey, hey, relax, Trim. Let's talk this through. Not about to off an unarmed man, are you? No, oh, why not? Rinder? Thought you'd look different. More chromed. 
I'm Reinder, all right, or at least what's left of him. Guessing you're here on contract. Hansen sent you? I'm here in the name of those people you killed at the Stacks. What? Hold on. The Stacks? Uh, I was there. Someone tried to rip me off, but I, I didn't kill no one. I I've got these blackouts. Ain't always present. I'm sick, okay? Sounds like you know more than me. You and Hansen, what happened? Left you on the rocks? You got eyes? Tossed me to rot in the gutter. My tombs too. Eight years I gave that asshole. Eight years. Kid enlisted at 20. Had no excuse. Fuck did he think it happened? Stuffing himself with combat wear like a pinata. Matter of time before he burst. You let scabs carve you up like a Thanksgiving turkey. Why? Cause I told him to. What do you think? Sold him my chrome. Ah. Might be twisted fucks, but they keep their word. Now you're gonna tell me that that hulking slab of scab that came at me was your ripper? That bumbling buffoon? <laughs> Just proof they can't guard for shit. You killed that kid, Jason. Along with seven others. Why? What for? I'm sick, all right? I wanted to pawn my chrome, collect enough scratch to get treated. Jason was my go-between with the local scavs. And here you are. Meaning he did his part. Except you tried to give me the Dogtown shakedown first. Started waving his big dick iron. Fucking savage. And then... I... I can't remember. Been doing Hansen's dirty work for years. Tying off loose ends. That all a blackout, too? Fuck you want me to say? That I admit to all the sins I committed, remembered, forgotten, and all in between? Fine. I regret it, okay? I regret all the years with Hansen. Joined up when I was just a kid. Kept my head down, followed orders. Whatever I did, I'm sorry. As if you know shit about Dogtown, anyhow. Dogtown chewed him up, shat him out. Place must be packed with hapless turds like him. Be simpler if it was all Hansen's fault. But that ain't how it works. Took a look at the scene. Only shots fired came from military grade iron, kind only you could carry. Then you bashed Jason's head against the ground more than a dozen times, tossed the rest around like rag dolls, was blood everywhere. <sighs> It's impossible. I swear, I would've... He's telling the truth. Blacked out, that's why he can't remember. Combine heavy psyware with a short fuse and you've got a perfect recipe for carnage. If it's cyberpsychosis, then... Maybe there's still hope for him. Thinking Regina. Knew plenty who joined the army to make a quick buck. Hell, was one of them myself. But eight years to sprout a conscience? Nah, fuck that. Put him down? That your solution? Karma. Had it coming to him. Of course, less you're gonna take pity on every asshole who starts feeling blue. Ryder, these blackouts, violent outbursts, ever consider the possibility you might have cyberpsychosis? Cyberpsych. What, cause I didn't tuck tail when that long short trash tried to fleece me? Give me a fucking break! Look at me! What else have I got to lose, huh? They fucked me over all of them! I used to be a soldier. Look at me now! Had heaps of time to walk away before you dove off the deep end. I was 20, okay? Put my faith in Hansen wasn't the first or last. I make everything my fucking fault now? And those whiny bitches I dropped at the stacks? Fuck them! Fuck Dogtown! I'd burn this shithole to the ground if I could, along with everyone in it! Better choose your next words carefully. Listen to me, just listen! I'm expired goods, a walking corpse. Can't decommission me more than this. Tell them Leon Rinder's dead, and <laughs> you wouldn't even be lying! Do that? The gear I stashed. 
It's yours. Oh no, fuck! Hold back. Shoot if you want. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Up, up there. <laughs> she, she forget what, what she was texting to me. Yeah, that, that, that can actually happen. It's done. Reinder's dead. You didn't let us down, did you? Found Reiner in Pacifica. Dealt with him. And the son of a bitch got what he deserved. On behalf of all the residents of the Stacks, thank you. It's the least I could do. Stacks. Is he terminated? Took care of him. Congratulations, then. Contract closed. Just here. There's a job, V. A journalist, Bree Whitney, has fled into Dogtown. I need you to look after her. She fled? Means I gotta keep her tucked away? No. Bree has a lead. You're to help her complete her investigation. Uh-huh. There's a corp on her tail, as she put it. That is all she said. Miss Whitney seems to have some minor trust issues. Right, so... Where am I meeting this mystery insistent woman? You'll go to her apartment first, on Skyline West. You're to collect an electronic access card. And no, do not say, this card, what's it open? I simply don't know. Contact me once this is sorted. You'll learn more details then. Safe box under a bamboo plant. Fifth floor, last door to the right. Hmm? Pretty swanky pad for media's pocket. Back in my day, the press lived in fucking roach closets. Lockups both ways. Hmm. What's this? Really, dickweed? That looked like a bamboo to you. Kiss my ass. <laughs> See what's here? No. Interesting. Fuck. Scan that. Militech logo 2010s. 2010s. Card's gotta be at least 60 years old. Wow. Didn't find that in a kabuki bargain bin. Makes me think. What's this Bree chick up to? That's real old card. Johnny, Johnny made uh, his first Arasaka raid in 20, 2012, actually, or 
13. Abandoned building in Dockdown, bottom floor. Hey, you're not Bree. I'm not. What are you doing here? Water in the bamboos. You? Standing in the doorway. Why the sass, kid? I, uh, heard some noise. I thought maybe Bree was back. Been a while since I've seen her. I'm next door. Thought I should come take a look. Got some dodgy chooms hanging around the building lately. What sort of chooms? Dunno. Definitely don't live in the building. Looked kinda like small town gangoons. Not even. Yeah. Just thugs. Just tell Bree to take care of herself, you hear? Yep. Grimy. Let her look around. So this is about what the cyberpunk actually looked like in 2018, before before they developers made a uh, huge changes. And I did Keanu Reeves to the project. Bree, right? Hand sent me. Supposed to come after dark. You get the card? Not another step! This what you wanted? Ah, uh, yes. Sorry. But, uh, you know. I can't trust anyone. Great, give me the card. We'll go inside. Shouldn't remain in plain sight. Really thick. Here. Might have mentioned this was about Militech from the get-go. You even listening to me? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Okay. Let's see if this doesn't System trick. warning. As far as I know, nobody's been here in the last decade. And the system stayed back to 2013. 2013. Wow. Fingers crossed. <sighs> We're in. Some of the security measures might still be active, so you go first. So this is from the. No, not going anywhere till you explain a few things. Oh, didn't think I was paying you to ask questions, but okay. What do you want to know so badly? What do you plan to find down here? Exactly. Well, if the files I borrowed from Militech are up to date, the lab inside's teeming with secrets. I plan to learn them. Yeah, this is 
this is probably one twenty twenty three. Knew a media once. He liked to dig up Megacorp dirt too. Tried to expose some veterans aid scam, a glorified corp PR campaign. Max Jones, yeah, WNS. Previous Any buzzers mission. buzzing? WNS buzzer is. Don't know the man, but I envy him his job. Think his position's vacant now. What? Report didn't generate waves. Max dropped it. I forced him to. Corp would have zeroed him for it. I see. Truly motivating tale, that. Thanks for sharing. Now go in. See if it's safe. 2013. Technology has, hasn't changed. Or rather, technology took a dip after fourth corporate war. Got turrets, but they're offline. Come on in. Slightly old, old system, which is really cool. Doing great. Keep it up. Phew. We're almost there. We're almost there. We don't have time. Can't have bad luck all the time. Yes, we can. We made it. The mainframe. The host. Host. Of what, actually? Unbelievable. There's even files from the third corporate war here. Yeah. Militech was tap dancing on its tits trying to keep Sokka from pushing him off the stage. <sighs> Shit. The oldest ones are encrypted. But wait. There's some newer footage. Dated 2068. Must be when they came back. Come here. Take a look. Yeah. Okay, it's recording. Senior Research Specialist Evan McCray, this is day three of our expedition. We've moved some equipment to the bunker. The old rail system remains largely functional. They might have used it to transport heat exchangers from the lab once upon a time. There is a mountain of old research here. I'll see if we can find a use for any of it. The bastards were trying to reopen the project. Okay, so what happened? Well, Caesar managed to breach one of the data forts. He found fragments of some outdated code. Command controls for a weapon, perhaps? All we need now is an AI to merge its findings. Lisa will probe the black wall for any potential gateways. Huh? Oh, right, uh, uh, day 39. Thanks, thanks, Lisa. Hear that? They wanted to breach the Black Wall. Oh no. Day 50, 5 -0. We received orders from HQ to shut down and return home. Uh, 
They say we're not safe here anymore. Caesar's packed us. We await Lisa's return. The poor thing's been in the bunker for two days. Jacked in. Or is it three? She... She just won't come out. She's trying to download the data from the fortresses, but... Uh, but we can't hope to take it with us if she does. Now that's it. I'm gonna get her, Caesar. Shit! This is bigger than I thought. Militech using some rogue AI to augment their old weaponry? This is huge. Yeah. Militech and some secret weapon. Street's been saying it for ages. Usually between worlds ending on Tuesday and Bart Moss is hibernating in a fridge. Look, if it mattered, would have been old news years ago. Kidding me? You hear about Soul Killer? Yeah. Now imagine a similar project, only Militech's pushing the buttons. These things change the world. And not for the better. At least not for people like us. Like other peeps haven't tried to contact Blackwall AIs. Failing to see the big break there. Look, Voodoo Boy's poking at the Blackwall is one thing, but one of the world's most powerful megacorps weaponizing a wild AI? Infinitely worse. Yep. When people learn Netwatch is busy hunting ordinary Joes while giving the megacorps free reign, imagine the outcry. So we got it. Grab what you need. Let's Delta. Dante! What the? Howdy, uh. Bree. He's me once, won't do it again. Who the hell are you, really? Dante Caruso, Militech Special Agent. Stand down. I'm here for Bree. Couldn't give half a shit about you. Knew she was hiding somewhere in the area. Knew you were looking for her. Just had to watch and wait. Thanks, kid. Hope you're not about to start defending her. Must have filled your head with all sorts of horse shit. Bree can talk. Ask her yourself. And what'll I hear? More lies? Spinning tall tales is her specialty. She tell you how she wrote articles for us mucking up the competition? Ah. Can see those gears churning now. Yeah. Bree worked for Militech. That true? Yes. Took the gigs because that meant I got access to their archives. You gotta believe me. He knows I'm close. He wants to stop me. Another failure to communicate. You don't know my mind, but I sure as hell know yours, Bree. A flag in the winds, what you are. Whose pocket are you in right now? Arasaka? Netwatch? That quant you were pulling intel from. Caesar Maharez. You know they zeroed him, right? What are you talking about? Bree's just in it for the cred. Thing is, cause of her, they'll wipe anyone who touched the project. Including you. You want that? He's just trying to scare us, V. You know that. Sorry, Bree. Stop him, V! Lab ain't big enough for the both of us. Come on, just zero no him! Kid. Damn it. 
Spoiler room. Been here before, Reed. Exactly like then. Remember last time we had this convo? I do. And yes, the rules is not that different. But the stakes are. The classic copy and paste of ID matching, bioscans, behaviorals, all bases covered. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so like Medellin or Night City a few years later. Let me see. Global arms trade? Check. Personality theft? Check. Oh, and gross overconfidence? Big check. Big check. Thought you didn't believe in coincidences. Alex. Gave her free reign back then, too. That's not exactly the same. Not an adequate comparison. You know I'm right. Ah, she, she doesn't you trust hear. me. It's about time, too. We're nearly done finalizing the plan. Op not sitting well with you, Alex? Reminds me of a few other sitches we handled. One in particular sticks out. Before NC, we worked an op in Colombia. Medellin. Song's not first now, mission. Alex. We have enough to do without digging up ancient history. What happened in Medellin? What was the up there? We had our sides trained on a guy who sat on the Colombian president's back pocket. Sold him smuggled corp tech. You saying the FIA pulls strings overseas? A lot of what we do doesn't get printed in the norm sheets. Anyway, we used stolen identities on that mission too. Things didn't go exactly as planned, but that's a long story. Think we can spare 60 seconds? Hell, might even learn something about so me that'll prove useful. All right. Our person of interest was one Luis Hernandez, arms trading heavyweight. We aimed to plant our own SA in his organization. Alex had adopted the identity of an engineer from Hernandez's entourage. She was our ticket in. She walks in to attend a meeting one day. She sees one of Luis's bikini model girlfriends prancing out on her way to walk his Doberman. Spending big money on Kit's luxury was kind of his M.O. So what happened? Well, Somi had put together Hernandez's dossier. Problem was, an important detail slipped through the cracks. The engineer's abject fear of dogs. Cold sweat, shaky hands, soggy pant leg, that kind of fear. When the Doberman sniffed Alex's knee, she pats him on the head and says, who's a good boy? Then, she went to pull up a chair at Hernandez's table. Before she could sit down, they had two barrels to her head and one trained at the base of her spine. Worked out though, right? We're all here now, together. Hmm, which can't be said for Hernandez and his men. We took any possibility of that from them. Uh. All thought of subterfuge went poof. We had to kick the door down. A rival cartel wiped them out. That was the official version. Okay, back to Night City, folks. With our sights trained on a new target. No. Interesting. We parsed the intel from the shard Somi gave me. It's a solid foundation for the mission we want to run. Surveillance, recon, data gathering, planning, it's all done. It's high time we righted some wrongs of the past. Fuck off, Reed. Give it a rest, will ya? Nothing here's your fault. Woman's an adult, made her own decisions. Consequences caught no, up to her. No, she was manipulated. There was no one around who could have had her back. Here. Yeah. Uh, he's Mission still... details on this. He's still behind so me. Stop worrying, Reed. We'll get her out. Save her. I know. And not just her. Ladder goes for you, too. Right. Our objective, to free Somi from under Hans's duress. Unfortunately, this ain't a normal rescue op. Because... Well, she's been infected with something from beyond the Black Wall. A consequence of her service to the NUS and President Mines. 
I'm not about to pretend I understand the tech whys and how. The important thin, thing thin, is thin. she doesn't get treatment. A killer. The cure is an AI that lives on a neural matrix. Hansen possesses said matrix now. We aim to seize it. So this neural matrix, how much do we know? Experimental tech nested in a mainframe that someone dragged up from deep beneath Dogtown. From a bunker, to be exact. Part of Project Sinusure, a joint U.S. Militech operation mounted in a bid to counter our Osaka soul killer. The Matrix itself is a functional container. It houses an AI from beyond the Black Wall, and its design lets the user deploy the AI for a specific purpose. In our case, to fix you and Songbird. All right. Flynn, let me hear it. Hanson to meet with the Netrunners you already know. The meeting itself is our chance to get close to Song and the Matrix. Hanson hired the French duo because they worked for Militech years back. They know its security protocols inside out. Also, they're selling Hansen access codes. Handy when Songbird goes to extract the Matrix from the Sinusure mainframe. Hansen's gunning for data from what he knows was a secret Militech NUS research project. He has no idea the neural Matrix is in there, too. Runners, scans, and behaviorals we have. Now we just need to take those twins out of the equation. Hey, Marik and Aurora Cassell. We know anything more beyond what we saw firsthand. Yep. Songbird put together full profiles for both. Super short brief. They got their start at Militech and dove in deep. That is, till they learn the pay's better on the dark side. Yeah, I buy that. Sure didn't hide their love of Eddie's. Mm-hmm. Gonna miss that next paycheck, cause they ran into us. We're gonna nab them before they reach Hansen. So we kidnap them. How we wanna do this? They're driving a rental while in NC. An exploitable opening. We're gonna track their ride and hijack it before they reach Hansen at the stadium. That's where you come in, V. We'll need you to breach the rental firm's tracking system. Alex will fill you in later. Once we have the runners, you'll take their place. The behavioral imprints are tuned already. And your role in all this, Reed? I'm drawing up your exfil route. Once you complete the mission, you need to get out in a hurry. I'll provide transport, make sure the path's clear and problem-free. Brings us to the final stage, right? Meeting with Hansen? Right. Where you'll sell him the access codes to the mainframe. In other words, the key to unlocking your medicine cabinet. One of you will join Somi in the lab to feed in the codes when needed. Hansen's likely to keep the other at his side. Collateral. I'll stay with Hansen. You'll join Songbird. Once the data floodgates are open, you'll signal me. Gonna disarm Hansen, take him and his guards out. Hansen and his goons. Aim to handle them on your own? Can do a lot more than play dress up, thank you. Plus, element of total surprise in my corner. Still, sweet of you to worry. Sounds like Flatline and Hansen set in stone. Order came directly from Myers. Confirmed at the stage. He took a potentially lethal swipe at the president of the NUS. And Songbird? We have to rescue her. Myers told you as much as hell. All clear? If you have any questions, now's the time to ask. How much have you told Myers? What's she know? That Somi's fallen into the hands of the man who's organized the downing of Space Force One. Is that all? All for now. Main goal, want to make sure I'm clear. We're springing Songbird free from Hansen's iron grip and seizing tech that's gonna save your lives. You and Alex enter the stadium as Hansen's visiting Netrunners. Disguises are key to the op. First step, what was it again? Securing a trace on the Netrunner's car. This bit's on you. Alex will expand on that in a minute. Meanwhile, we'll make sure the personality data and imprints are airtight. Things couldn't be clearer. Let's get to work. So, time we talked about nabbing the runners? Cover that in a minute. All running away. Fast as you can. Mom, don't talk like that. You know it's not true. Think I don't got eyes? 
can see them streets emptying out. Less and less of the young folks. Because there's no future for us here. At least there's work in this city. A chance at a decent life. I'll make some real eddies in Haywood. Have you move in with me there? It'll be better for us. Mm -mm. You great. She's great. Encryption key My complete. Ma, you, you ain't got a problem, Alex. Gonna take more than breaching one station to recreate the encryption key. Fuck. Give me a sec. Okay, got another station for you to try. Hold on, let me ping the station remotely. Try to save us some time. Clever. No response. Think standing around's gonna help? 452 mm, days might. overdue for maintenance inspection. Think we're good with just one more? <laughs> it's a car rental company, for Christ's sake. How sophisticated a system can they have? They can have really sophisticated. Let's get to it. Good luck out there. And raise Reed as soon as you grab that encryption key. Looking for something? Won't find it here. Nothing to find. <sighs> Borked. It ain't working? <gasps> Jesus! You want a hint? I can tell you how to fix it if you really want to fix it. Old people need help with this stuff sometimes. <laughs> so, yeah. Turn it off first, then turn it back on. You know, I can tell you where to look for the on button for a thousand ads. Interested? Okay. Eddies are all yours. Nova. Done deal. So, Switch, where is it? I don't know exactly. Around here. Telling you where to look, not where to find it. Just like I said. We'll play hot and cold. If you're close or far, we'll holler hot or cold. Let's start playing. You'll get it. Kids. She knows. Ooh. Ooh. Like we said, ice cold. Warmer, getting hot. hot. Warmer. What the fuck? <laughs> My BD. No. <laughs> My BD. And the best fucking bit too. Jan gas power grid. Oops. Yo, yo, yo! Don't even think about flatlining here! I'm gonna touch a corpse! This... This gotta be what having a fucking stroke feels like. You made it. Got a head start. A drink to calm the nerves. Appreciate the invite. Glad to see you, Alex. Sweet of you to say. I wrote you cause... Cause I needed someone to talk to. Someone outside the firm. And not some total rando. To take my mind off the mission. Not worry about being someone else for a millisec. Hope that makes sense. Okay. So, what do you want to talk about? I mean, it's not like I have an agenda typed up. I just want... to be a normal fucking person for a little bit. Myself, specifically. Just me. Just Alex. I like the sound of that myself. 
Just shed this skin and leave the Night City Merc behind. Hey, yeah. Like, who are you anyway? I don't know. <laughs> good question. With all the shit going on in my life lately, a damn good question. And definitely too soon to know for sure. Say, you ever think about who you'd be now if, you know, life had taken a different turn? Maybe I'd still be with my family out on the road. As in nomads? Mm-hmm. The backers. Probably somewhere in the Midwest right now, scraping together a few eds from the corn harvest. Then long conversations over beer. Isn't it time we join Snake Nation? Soaking in that big sky. Or the stink of chew in some rat hole motel. <laughs> or that. Okay, now you. Who would you be, if not a secret agent and master of disguise? An actor. No hesitation there. Always dreamed of seeing my face on a show bill. I love musicals, especially. Seriously? <laughs> Call me old-fashioned. So yeah, guess I'd be a brain dance star. Hmm. <laughs> Ever acted before? Outside your agency assigned roles, I mean. She's going to yeah. die. Not for more than an audience of one. Too, too much Just dreaming of being under the building. lights. Where everyone's watching me. But I know and they know. It's all make believe. To a normal life. May we all enjoy one someday. Hey, men. I love this song. Never know when which way's up down. It's never what it seems when it's all I'm ever missing. And it feels as though I'm waiting. And I don't need no head in my hands. No, I'm ever heading way south I think I'll find it all somewhere between the ice Don't do this often, I'm guessing Busting moves? I can't say I do We'll gave it away <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't thinking of dancing, but never mind This DLC has pretty quite many surprising moments. Surprising moments. We'll see you on BD posters in no time. I know it. First, retirement. As long as you abide by my rules. Sound fair to you? You and me, face to face. Sure we're alone? Wouldn't want any unpleasant surprises. No surprises. Except maybe you're already one of us. Don't trust a soul. This spot. Didn't pick it at random, I guess. Guessed right. Wanted to show you something. Means a lot to me. Could help put some things in perspective. And it means I trust you. 
Come over here. So what's so special about this place? Lived just two blocks off while I was here in NC on assignment. Locals come here after sunset. Fire up grills, crack open beers, talk about nothing in particular. Swing by here come evening sometimes. All of it. Every inch is special. Reminds me of Brooklyn. Actually from there. Wouldn't mind hearing about it. Brooklyn. Hmm. Got this memory. It was the night before I raided a Militech data form. I'm sitting out on my fire escape. Just lit a J. Down on the street, I see a party starting. There's playful screams and laughter. Someone's blasting funk from their stoop. I hear Willie, too. Sells the best scoff dogs around. He shit talking one of his chews. And there's bonfire smoke in the air. Safe. Familiar. Were they celebrating something? Yeah. A Thursday. Yeah. Know the feeling. Got a place you hold close to your heart, too? Not a place. That was always changing. The people? Sure. Memories of home. Yearning to go back. Can't rewind the clock, V. By the time you realize you miss something, it's usually too late. <sighs> Suppose we should get back to the here and now. Attack on Myers. You schemed it up with Anson. I know that. Yeah, Neural Matrix was pricey. But honestly, I... I never thought he'd try to kill her. You betrayed her. Not just her. Nothing went according to plan. What a fucking mess. Sent Myers' entire flight crew to an early grave. Myers herself, too, almost. Ground the plane. That was a plan. Didn't expect he'd... blow it to shit. Not much of an excuse, I know. So what was your plan? For you to rescue Myers while I secured the AI Matrix, and for us to run. All before Kirk caught on. Now Hansen's changed the terms of our deal. They'll make him answer for the attack. He knows that, so he's covering his ass. The one thing he doesn't know is what's on the Sinusure mainframe. He's hoping it's data he can use as leverage against the NUS. Says that's my ticket to freedom, but as soon as he gets his hands on it, I'm dead. Yep. I just know. Probably, probably. That's what's going to happen. I fucked everything up, I know V. But I had no choice. Still don't understand why. Wasn't any other way, honestly. Wouldn't have resorted to this if there was. For Myers, the NUSA, I'm just another weapon in their arsenal. A tool for reaching beyond the black wall. And weapons and tools. They don't get to make decisions or choose to retire. <coughs> sounds. Sounds painfully familiar. Think I know how you feel. I doubt anyone understands this feeling as well as you do, V. You're the only one I can trust with this. Only question is after everything you just heard, you feel the same way about me? Don't trust Reed? Guy wants to save your life. Mm-hmm. 
He saved me once already. Word of a boss shit on Militech crossed his desk, so he knocked on a 19-year-old girl's door with an offer she couldn't refuse. Join and serve, or become a Netwatch trophy. That girl died that day. The person in front of you is what was born from that death. Of course, Reed, he died too. Just more recently, seven years ago. The NUS issued his death sentence, yet he serves the country to this day, clinging to something that's lost all meaning to me. Been one to ask, actually. What happens exactly, you know, when you reach past the Black Wall? Know the feeling when you try to remember the address of a place you lived half your life, but it just turns up blank. I mean, losing your memory? A snowflake lands on my glove. I can calculate its unique fractal structure. But what did my mom's voice sound like? Sometimes I, I lose control or get the sense I'm surrendering to someone else, but it feels horrible. Felt it too, with the chimera, like a live-in nightmare. Yeah, more and more I get the sense someone's standing behind me, but there's never anyone there. Why not just go home? My home burned down when I was forced to trade warm Brooklyn brick for sterile Washington walls. I have nowhere to go back to. Get the feeling this is the first time you've been honest with me. Yeah. With you and myself. I need to get away. From Kurt, the NUSA, Reed, from everything. Speaking of, out of everybody out there, you saw Hanson as a trusty ally. Seriously? I needed someone who could tear me from Meyer's grip. I knew him from my time in Night City when I was posted here. Took a steep risk, all right, and a plain gonk one at that. That's why I enlisted you, too. Night City is just a pit stop along your escape route. That was always the plan, wasn't it? Yeah. It's just... Things got complicated. Messy. Certainly didn't expect my old agency chooms to get involved. Or to find myself caged by Kurt. I'm fleeing, B. Gotta get out. And to do that, I need you. Cause you... you know how it is. How am I to know this isn't an elaborate con? Be nice to have some kind of guarantee. I can't give you one, sorry. But I've shown you my trust. I mean, you're free to sell me out to Reed, right? Or trust me enough to save us both. No guarantee for either of us. Fair deal, I say. Okay. Say I believe you. What's the next step? We go through with the mission, grab the neural matrix. While Reed and Alex grapple with Hansen, we make our getaway. And then... Uh... You helped me skip town. I already cut a deal with the Black Clinic far, far from Night City. There, the Rippers can access the matrix and use an algorithm to create a prototype of our cure. They'll need me present to run their tests. The moment they're finished, I'll send word. And... that's it. Everything. Like a weight off my shoulders, honestly. Now, I have to ask. You're in this you because do you need understand to trust me? Her. Or because I promised to save your life? Should be pretty clear, I mean to survive, too. I appreciate your honesty. <sighs> I guess that's all. I suppose you should call Reed. Let him know all set for the meet with Hansen.
be status report. Somi contacted me. Got news. Let me hear it. Well, first off, we've been greenlit. Our VIP's ready to be served. Music to my ears. What else? Songbird opened up a bit. Better sitch. It's looking bad. Real bad. This tech's her only shot. I hear you. I do. All the more reason to focus on the mission in front of us. Get our hands on that cure. But Reed, what Somi spilled, we really need to talk. I know, but later. Not a topic for the hollow. Be one other thing. You need new chrome. An implant that accommodates behavioral imprints. I'm sending you deets for a clinic. A doc will be expecting you. Just tell the Ripper you know she collects unification war trinkets. She know you came with my blessing. All right. Partia Farid. Clinic. That's pretty nice. We get new chrome. So I wonder where this is going. I mean, so me could basically sell us out. Kind of sympathize her, but yes, it's still pretty, pretty. Well, let's let's read this. Feeling of deja vu. You have awakened a memory that had faded. One I can enjoy again. Another conversation I has once had with a close friend. Honest, real, no motives. We after all those years, the agency questioning every word, every quest, every tweet, always looking over my shoulder. Do you know what it's like? I've failed so many people over the years, but I won't fail you. That's a clear of self-disappointment ends now. 